So let's talk about some things that God wants to give you in exchange for what he wants you to give him. In exchange for your cares, your worries, your anxieties, God wants to give you peace and assurance. In exchange for your pain, your heartache, your suffering, God wants to give you comfort and hope. In exchange for your guilt, your shame, your sins, God wants to give you forgiveness and grace. In exchange for your weakness, his strength. In exchange for your knowledge, his wisdom. In exchange for your heart, his spirit. In exchange for your fear, his love. In exchange for your time, his presence. In exchange for trust, faith. In exchange for burdens, freedom. In exchange for death, life. In exchange for obedience, joy. In exchange for you. In exchange for you, God gave Jesus. Family, that already happened. God himself, seeing our need for a savior, cheerfully gave his only son. And this son, Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, willingly, cheerfully, not only gave up everything when he gave his life, but gave us everything when he gave his life. For our sake, he made him who knew no sin to be sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. Repenting and trusting in Jesus is the only way to God to be made right with him, to have a relationship with him. All of your spiritual needs are met because God gave and God gives. All of your physical needs are met because God gave and God gives. Everything you have is from God. Your home, your car, your health, your gifts, your talents, your family, your friends, your job, your food, your water, your air, your senses, your finances, your everything came from and comes from God. The abilities, the strength, the knowledge, the life you have to perform the work you do that you make credit to providing your needs comes from God. Everything traces back to God. He's the source of everything. You wouldn't be alive if it weren't for God. Everything is his. It all goes back to him. And when you realize and believe and live knowing and understanding that everything you have isn't really yours, it's God's, you can freely, obediently, cheerfully give back from the heart, trusting all your needs will continue to be provided for, and you'll be blessed. You'll